Ranger Matoll and the boy Jack stepped into the infinite hallway. How is this? Matoll had never seen anything like it. This tiny cabin on the hill outside Tana somehow was nearly infinitely larger on the inside than the out. Only a few steps into the hallway, they heard a soft click of the door behind them closing. Turning back, Ranger Matoll reached for the doorknob but was stopped by the boy. You can't go back. This place, it isn't right. Shrugging off the boy's hand, the older man opened the door to the room they had just left. There was nothing there. Simply nothing. It was an absolute void. He let the door close again and backed a few steps away. You can't go back. Always forward. I tried to tell them. Tell who? How do you know this? My friends, we came in together, but they tried to go back. That's what you meant by they fell into the black. Where did they go? Where did Father Chody go? Uh, anywhere. The boy was transforming almost before Matol's eyes. Where he was almost walking in his sleep just minutes ago, now he seemed to be more and more alert. It is good to be back. I didn't mean to leave. Jack looked around, clearing the cobwebs out of his mind more by the second. Ranger, you must go. We have to find a way out for you. This place, it doesn't want you. What do you mean? How do you know? How do we leave? There were so many questions. There are many ways out, but only one that leads to your time. Time? The boy started down the hall. Come, we have to hurry. Father Chody may still be alive. It seemed as though the boy, the one the priest and ranger had come to rescue, was now in charge. They began with the first room. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Realm of Vastin. We are in the place that I left off last episode talking about this is the perfect place for a house, and it is, and I'm struggling. I'm struggling to be totally honest, and I wanted to bring you in and discuss some of these, uh, which I'm going to talk to Crafting Mans in just one second about that. So, um, okay, so uh, yeah, so here, here's the design I came up for a house. Um, you know, it's again, as is typical from the way I build nowadays, is a very sort of random looking sort of house, uh, house design. I came up, I guess I want to do like an open porch area here. I think that'll be kind of cool. Now, the instructions I got said no stone, and that is complicated. That is complicated for sure. I'm not sure exactly how to get over that hurdle. I may do a one layer of stone foundation here and just hope that that's okay. I feel like it just looks so bizarre if you don't. Oh, come on now. There we go. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, in the back here, I was thinking too about about using stone for like a freezer sort of thing because that would wood wouldn't really work for that. So yeah, just some thoughts I've I've laid out uh, here that I think is going to be okay. Let's go there and let's go here for now. Um, and yeah, I'm not I'm not sure really what to go on the outside of this. I I think I may end up needing to go get some spruce trees and uh, harvest and bring some spruce into this build. I think I'm going to do oak and spruce because if it's just oak, that is just going to be rough looking. So I, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to do some spruce and some oak. So uh, maybe the next best thing I should do is probably do that next. Uh, yeah, let's work. Let, let me go get some spruce trees and uh, make some chests and, and leave some storage and stuff here. Okay, I'll be I'll be back in the All right, let's get to some building and figure out how we're gonna uh, organize this house. So I do like the shape. I was looking at it. I made a couple of very minor adjustments here, and I think that we're in a good place. Um, I've been harvesting some spruce for a little bit here. Oh. I've been harvesting some spruce for a little bit, and I got some more big trees growing here. Uh, so I, I have enough to I have enough to roll uh, for now. And I think what I'm gonna do, I think I might. Well, it's hard to say. I might change out this. Mm, I might change out this oak log for spruce. I'm just, or maybe not here in the front, but maybe the other places. I don't know. So here's here's my initial thought. I'm thinking that get a get a nice two toned log sort of look. And I'm thinking that we're going to do something along these lines. So we're going to come out. Oh, very first block misplaced. Nice. Okay. So we're going to come out here and we're going to go basically along here. And I'm just going to be bringing this out. And I know this is going to kind of 
I don't know how that's going to work. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I may ha I may need to end up taking out the, the strip logs because I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring in some color into this build. I think it should be really cool. Um, let's see here. Okay. And uh, mm, I don't like this. I don't like how this is. We'll see. We'll see. If it's, if it's horrible, then then no problem. But um, so maybe something up along these lines, like this, like that. Can this go away? No, I guess I can't. Oh, shoot. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. Okay. Let's go here and here and go sleep. So, uh, so yeah, so the plan... Oh, there we go. So the plan is going to be, we're going to go... Um, I'm going to make... Uh, one, some of this one story, some two, and some three, and it's going to be going back to the back. So that way, whenever you're on the road, I'll, where's the road? Uh, all along there. So this will be the lowest point. Uh, this will be basically a roof right here, um, and then and the the landing area, and then there'll be like a second floor that's going to be in some way here, and then back here there'll be a third floor. That way you're going to see up the entire thing, right? Should work really well. Hmm, I may need to actually go slaughter some chickens and stuff here because oh, there's some cows over there I could eat. Kind of hate to do that, but uh, I I could just fly back to Sole. It's actually not that terribly far. It's kind of far, but it's not that far through the uh, through the snowy tundra of uh, of uh, the the what are we calling this? The snowy tundra of the um, which direction is this? West. The snowy tundra of the west. That's what direction it is. Okay. So let's try something along these lines and see if this is overkill or not. I think this will work out really well. Um, just things like this, and uh, let's go up here. Yeah, I like that. I, again, again, we're a, a, a bit of a double here, and that's not absolutely ideal. But it might, it might turn out to be okay because it's going to add some color, and I'm going to like that for sure. So let's bring that up here, something like this, yeah, just like that. Uh, if you can tell the pattern, the pattern that I'm, I'm trying to work out and trying to stay consistent on right here, and this is going to go right in there. So this way, this is like uh, you're going to be able to walk in on the second floor. So that'll be really nice and cool. Um, over here, we're, we'll just go something along these lines. We'll have to probably, yeah, we'll have to probably, well, oh, certainly, we'll certainly have to do some landscaping here for sure, but I think this should be probably enough, uh, enough for right now just to give a, give a nice idea of how we're going to do this. That doesn't really matter. Okay, and the last one we'll do for right now is we'll actually put one here in the corner, uh, reason being... Um, there won't be one over there. Okay, so that that's uh, that's the overhang little portion of this And this is going to be the second floor that we're looking at right now that down there is sort of the basement slash first floor So uh, let's get some roof lines. Is this the same height? It is it just looks weird. Oh wait, I forgot over here over here needs something so Let's go put a torch in there and bring this up like this good and we'll do the same thing again. Again, this will be this will be a double. And I, I guess that's going to be okay. We'll have to see once we start actually building how effective the double the double uh, logs are. If it's terrible, then we'll deal with that at that point. But um, there we go. Something along those lines. And lastly, where did I put this? I put it out one. So we'll go right here. Okay, there, there, and. What's happening over here? Did I put this right? Oh no, there's just one on top. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. It just, this does not need to be uh, the same. Okay, cool. All right, we are good for that. Let me lay down a floor and light this up, um, and then we'll look at the next uh, portion of the build. Remember that time that I said that we're only going to have carts going from Port Bray to the bigger cities and things like that? Okay, that's true. But there's an exception here. And the reason there's an exception is this this little place, which is going to probably turn into a little mini hamlet of sorts, um, uh, has been... It's really far away and I've had to, um, we just started the Vast and Guest membership program. So I've been back and forth between Adri and Port Bray, trying to get some lag issues that we have going on uh, sorted out, which are a little bit um, annoying. Uh, 
we didn't have we have not had really any lag to speak of i mean occasional little things that you have on a server but uh we've not really had much lag to speak of up until very recently uh basically when the guest membership program started and those guys before those guys even did anything so it's totally not on them but before they even did anything we started getting some real lag uh build up so yeah so um it's something that we've been wor working on here now um uh, we're actually running right now currently Spygot um, just because it's been it's been acting better and I feel bad that that right when these guys join we have a bunch of lag crop up so until we get it hunted down we're running Spygot now we have no plugins so it's essentially exactly vanilla um, uh, we have no plugins nothing none of that stuff we won't do that that's not something that we do in this world but um but yeah unfortunately we've 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 had to run that um, but. You can say I've done some work on the house. I, I decided after a lot of trial and error, a lot of trial and error, I've decided to go with the glazed terracotta uh, thatch looking roof. Um, and I think what I'm going to come back in is do some hay bales as well, uh, like a, a third texture up there on the roof. I think that'll look really good, but I don't have any currently, so I need to go... And either, well, I probably need to go harvest hay because what I also want to do is I think I want to plant some wheat fields here. Um, uh, this cart, yeah, this cart. Let me show you where the cart goes to in Port Bray. I, I found kind of a cool little, cool little place for it actually, and I think it's kind of, kind of fun. Um, the cart goes out here. It's out, kind of outside the walls um, near this little hay field here. Yeah, I just kind of feel like uh, spreading these things out is kind of a fun, a fun thing to do. And, and yeah, I, I got, I'm gonna have to build this up. So we'll do that maybe next time or something like that. But and, and uh, I think we're just gonna call this Hamlet Cheeky Fox Glove. I think that's kind of a fun name for Hamlet. And that is actually the patron build who's we're working on. That's whose patron build we're working on, rather YouTube member, my first YouTube member. I now, I now have uh, also Brienne, Brienne the girl who, in addition to being a patron, is actually a YouTube member as well. So uh, thank you so much. Um, but, but. Uh, here's what we got. So, so uh, Cheeky Fox Love asked for um, blue, as much blue as we could. So what I, the first time I started this, I did blue. This is blue concrete. Um, and I started, no, I'm sorry. I lying. This is cyan, cyan concrete. I started with blue concrete up on the roof. So the cyan, um, you know, I have some here. Let me show you in a chest. Uh, cause I, cause I did a bunch of it and then I just didn't like it. So I've since changed it out. So yeah, this is cyan concrete and here I, so I started with this okay so i started with this and this and here's what i got i got this and then for the walls and then that for the roof and it's just too much it's just too much so i didn't like it so i got rid of it um i got rid of the roof uh and luckily thank goodness i decided before i made a whole lot of it oops uh and then all then i went with this uh this black um roof on top and it was better it was better. It's certainly a lot better, but still not quite right. So I made, luckily I didn't use too much of it. I didn't make too much of it either. Um, and then I went finally with this look, which uh, right here, which I think is a lot better. Um, and that's just a nice contrast. So a nice thatch roof um, with the uh, um, uh, cyan terracotta and cyan concrete. So yeah, it works really well together. I really like it. So I think that is cool. Um, and that's one of the reasons those three different things that I've tried is one of the reasons why I've had to make the journey a few times back to Salea, which is it's super far guys. It's super far. Like this snow biome is so epically huge. I mean, it goes on for, it's like, 25 rockets to get from here to uh Salaya. Salaya is like that way uh, across the frozen tundra and um and in fact actually probably monument to the fallen is actually closer going that way but it's also very far so either way it's very far so i thought since it's so enormously far along the road it wouldn't be that bad to have one fast travel here so i just made a cart uh hauling thatch i thought that would be a cool thing and um yeah so let me, uh, we're not done with this. Obviously we've not detailed. I want to detail a lot of this out. I want to do a lot more work. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to need to, uh, grab a comment of the day. So let me, let me do that and, um, grab a book and, and track one down. I'll be back. <coughs> King Wolf. King Wolf 10, who is uh, on VD and always uh, always around on Discord and, and just a, a solid dude. Uh, hashtag HeyFix. Remember, if you want to catch my attention for these, uh, I read and respond to every comment. But when I'm looking for a comment, honestly, it makes it a lot easier. So if you, if you have a question or answering a comment or something like that, that is by far the easiest way for me to see 
so I can I can narrow these down. Uh, hey, fix for your next season. I think it would be quite something if you did build kingdoms that favor the Nether. Uh, there were uh, there were quite a few um, sort of similar comments over uh, over the past uh, little while about uh, same sort of similar ideas, and I think that's a that's a cool idea. Um, you know, it gets a little hairy because the Nether is trying to. I mean, their their storyline is the Nether. They're they're trying to take man out, basically, right? I mean, they're trying to eliminate man from from the uh, world. So I think to to find a kingdom outside of the religion, uh, now we could build maybe a Netherism uh, kingdom, something like that, which I think could could really work. Um, uh, so it'd have to be very religious. It'd have to be. It'd be pretty dark uh, storyline-wise, honestly, uh, which is fine. I think. I think that um, maybe a lot of people would would really like to see sort of a dark, uh, gloomy, dark storyline for a season, something like that. So that that's something that we're gonna we're gonna think about and we're gonna discuss, and and it's gonna be a strong maybe. Okay. Um, my plan for next season, and we've been talking about it a little bit. My rough ballpark plan is that this season will go until uh, somewhere in the ballpark of the end of May or June 1st. That's kind of the idea for uh, for this season. And then then we'll take a little break. We'll kind of, those of us who are, are playing on uh, the Realm of Vassin and Vassin Adventures, take a little break uh, where we can sort of... Um, come to our senses after such such epic, huge, giant building pro, uh, projects. Um, and then what we'll do then is we will uh, sort of get planned, you know, get get a plan together for what the next uh, season is going to be and, uh, and go with that. I'm thinking that we'll just bring the right up here, maybe. Um, this should be good. As long as, like, it's a gradual enough step up. I think what we'll do is we'll have, a, uh, have an entrance here. Okay. That would be cool. Maybe sideways. Of course, I don't have any materials on, on me. Uh, but yeah, okay, okay. I think that'll work. That'll work really well. Of course, I have no gravel here, so I'm gonna have to make the journey back and get some more gravel. But that's all right now. That we have a cart. So, so um, yeah, you know, uh, my plan is gonna be to um, get anyone who uh, signs on for the Realm of Aston season uh, four to uh, get together over the course of that that sort of month that we're taking a break, uh, the month of June probably, and just discuss plans. And we'll come up with basically three kingdom ideas that we all want to do. You know, I don't think that'll be real hard because I think we want to do a lot of fun stuff. But we'll come up with with basically, we'll narrow it down to three, and then we'll have uh, you, you folks, uh, lo our lovely viewers uh, across all of our different channels, mm -hmm. vote, I think, I think we'll have a vote. Maybe we'll do it on Twitter, but I, I would suspect we'll just do it right on YouTube. Um, we'll have vote and we'll, we'll pick uh, the kingdom from those three that we'll do next season, you know, um, because we want to we want to do what people want to see. Uh, so we'll narrow it down and then we'll have maybe viewers. Viewers will select. I know that's the way that they did it on Kingdom Craft, and I think that is just brilliant. I think it's just a brilliant way to involve people. And we won't pick something we don't want to do, obviously. Like, we're not going to pick something that, if the viewers pick, we're like, oh, I don't want, you know, whatever. So we'll pick all stuff that we're, that we're really positive on. And, um, and yeah, I think it'll be fun. It'll be a fun, fun little uh, way to do it. So I got a lot of building to do. I want to bring in some trees. Adri actually has some trees already built. So what I may do is I may fly some of those trees in here and um, it might be kind of fun. So uh, let me let me get, get to work on detailing this house and then we'll come back maybe and, and show sort of the final, the final uh, exterior project here. But a lot of work to do, obviously. So there's a little bit of a lore uh, aspect to this. Cheeky Fox Love, which, by the way, if you're ever getting a Patreon build and you have some lore, I will do everything I can to incorporate it. It may, it may take some tweaking and things to get it to work uh, according to the lore that we already have. But for the most part, uh, we can usually get it to work. So uh, what Cheeky Fox Love wrote was... Um, uh, a cottage on the outskirts or maybe a way, uh, ways away from a kingdom, but still accessible by road. It's owned by a widow named Jenna Ballas, whose husband made a fortune from Port Bray's mining trade, but died in a zombie pigman attack while he was out in the mine, uh, mining the operations. After settling everything, she sells their home in Port Bray and has a small cottage built. Oops. Uh, not that small, uh, where she spends her days painting. I was thinking there'd be a deck or balcony uh, for uh, overlooking a pond, lake, cliff, mountainside where an easel can be set up and also a little cart and horse outside for when she knows needs to go to town 
shopping. I love that. I love everything about that. I just think it's just wonderful. So uh, let's head back over to uh, Cheeky Fox Glove, which is the name of the Hamlet. Uh, I just love that name. That's a, such a great name. Okay, uh, so let's head over here and let's take a look at what we have done. So uh, what we've done, we have the cart. Uh, let's pretend there's a horse. Horses are a little bit tricky because the leads break and stuff, but let's pretend. Um, and yeah, here's the Hamlet. I do have uh, a deck here. Um, and... Uh, I think what we need to do is set up an easel. So let, let's get to that first before we do the road. So the idea is she's going to walk out here on her balcony and paint uh, these cliffs. I mean, these are as much of cliffs as, as I could find. Uh, who knows? Maybe maybe someday this will turn into a hamlet down the road and stuff, and we can actually do some big custom cliffs. But I think this is a really nice scenic sort of thing. There's a lake, a uh, cliffs. I mean, really, truly, it kind of hit the jackpot on location. The road's just over there cart uh now i do want to have some farm and stuff set up and we're gonna do that at a later time because this episode is running a little bit long in the tooth but let's see if we can figure out how to make an easel um in minecraft uh actually an armor stand isn't like the worst idea ever uh let me i'll tell you what Let, let's 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 just um let's make a couple more chests here just so I can I can have enough room to, to deal with the stuff. Okay. Okay, let's just do that. And uh we'll make this the official gravel chest. Okay. So um let's see. What would be what would most we'll need a sign for sure. Uh what would most resemble an easel? Let's go with let's go with dark oak. That's gonna stand out a little bit more. Um probably Probably, let's see, stairs, probably, maybe a door. We'll take a look at the door option. Uh, dark, oh, oh, that, dark oak trap door, that could actually work really well. And, oh, you know what? I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Instead of armor stand, armor stand kind of does look like one, but I have an idea that, that may work. Let's go with an easel out here. Okay. So we're going to go with this, and will this connect? It will connect, darn it. Okay. I don't really want it to, though. So let's put it right... Let's say she's painting over this direction. That'll, that's going to make things work a little bit better. So we'll go up here, one, here and here, in here. Okay, that'll be good. And then two options. There aren't three wide paintings in Minecraft, uh, unfortunately. There's the, I mean, three by one. Um, so we can't really do that. But what if we just did this? And then... Because this is going to be, uh, you can't get over there. That's, that's okay. But we're going to do this. Uh, game of creative. Let's get this over here. And we're going to go give, fix it, debug, stick. Okay. And what we're going to do is we are going to, yes, yes. Make that connect. That's not too bad. Mm, I wonder if, uh, I wonder if. I have stuff for a painting. One painting would actually... Oh, paintings aren't going to go on trapdoor there, though. They'll, like... Because trapdoor... That, that trapdoor is on the... on the in, It's on this side of the block. It'd have to be on the other side of the block. Which means I don't know how we could get it to hold up. Ooh! Um, there is a way. We could just get rid of this trapdoor. Completely. Will a painting go right there? Let's go check it out. Okay, let's try to make a painting here. Hopefully, maybe, who knows? Maybe I have enough stuff to actually make a painting. Uh, what's painting? It's like, is it sticks and leather? I know that I don't have leather. Darn it, let me go find leather somewhere. I, I'll go kill a cow. All right, I got a painting. Let's see if we can get this to work out. Eh, it's nighttime. Let's go sleep. So this will be this will be a good test of my of my Minecraft uh, my Minecraft powers and uh, I think we will work out the interior in this at, at, again at a later date. This is a pretty darn big house. Again, I've done it to myself. Let's see. Can I put a ping there? Oh, that's a that's a freaking item frame. <laughs> oh, fix. That's an item frame, not a painting. What's wrong with me? How do you make a painting again? Uh, I always forget. Is there any chance that I have this learned? I feel like I never do. Yeah, wait. Yeah, no. I, 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 geez, for Pete's sake. Yeah, uh, it's wool. Wool is on the inside. I know. I know. I know. I actually heard. I heard. I heard you guys face palming. I did. Is that what it's called? Face palming. Go. Oh yes. That it does fit. So how's that? 
I mean, I could make it, like, just get rid of these completely, and then... Mm, that's gonna really bother me, so let's uh, do this uh, again. Give, fix, debug. We're allowed to do debug stick. It's one of the one of the uh, concessions that we've made. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. Uh, because debug stick should be able to be used in survival. That's not bad for an easel. It's so simple, but, uh, you know, I know an easel usually is a bit more of a triangle, but I think that actually works pretty well. It works pretty well. Yeah. And actually, like, the white and the blues and stuff like that kind of looks like she's been painting out there. I like it. This is... This is really nice. Um, let's see. I think that she could use maybe a seat. Uh, let's go here. That really bugs me. Look at look what I'm gonna do. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna stop destroying this until we're done done with the episode. Uh, this is gonna really annoy me if if I don't fix it. So let's do get rid of that. Oh. Nope. Nope. Still no. Nope, not that one. That one. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's better. Okay, uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, let's see. Nice little chair so she can sit and look. Sometimes you gotta step back from, from your artwork, right? I think we're good. I think we're good here. Um, the, the, the build itself, uh, yeah, we got a lot of work to do in here. We'll, we'll get to all that. We'll get to all that in due time. This is going to be my sort of breakaway project for a few episodes. Next episode, we'll probably head back to Celea. But um, let's check here and just uh, take a look at the house. I think it's nice. I, I, for, I did not get the hay and stuff that I wanted, the straw, hay bales that I wanted to. But um, you know what? That's a pretty darn cool house, I think. And it's not, is small cottage? No, not so much. But um, I think we've accomplished goals. So again, Cheeky Fox Club, thank you so much for your uh, your support of the channel and uh, of the server and of the goals that we're trying to set up here. I, it really, it's appreciated and really, really does help out. But um, so thank you so much for that. I'll see everyone else next episode from the realm of Vastin. Please subscribe to my friends. Lots of amazing content, amazing builds going on here. And I will see you all next episode. Thanks, bye.